Here's my advice to make 2026 the best year of your life. Stop looking for cybersecurity jobs in California and New York alone. Indianapolis just hired 31% more cybersecurity professionals this year. Cleveland grew 60%. Rally exploded 59% growth. While everyone is fighting over the same overcrowded tech hub, entire cities are practically begging for cybersecurity talent and paying premium salaries to get it. The real cybersecurity boom isn't happening where the headline says it is, and the preparation strategies everyone recommends will leave you competing with thousands of other candidates for the same limited spot. Hit that subscribe button because I'm about to show you where the hidden cybersecurity gold mine will be in 2026. I'm told of Michael, and after close to a decade in cybersecurity, I can tell you that most people are hunting for opportunities in completely the wrong places. The cities, the industries, the specific skills that will put you miles ahead of everyone else who is still following the same tired advice. This isn't about joining the crowd. This is about positioning yourself where the explosive demand is added while most people haven't caught on yet. But first, let me tell you what most career guides will mention about the cybersecurity market right now. We're in the middle of a massive skills mismatch. There are 4.8 million unfilled cybersecurity positions worldwide. Yet, 31% of security teams made zero entry-level security hires last year. Companies are screaming about talent shortages while simultaneously rejecting beginners. Why? Because the skills they need don't match what most people are learning. Most training programs are still teaching you to fight yesterday's battles while the industry has moved on to completely different challenges. The result, you could spend months, I mean months literally, preparing for roles that barely exist anymore while missing the opportunities that are exploding right now. Now let me show you what is really happening and what is going to drive demand in 2026. Artificial intelligence isn't just changing cybersecurity, it's completely rewriting the job descriptions. Right now, 45% of security organizations are already using AI for analysis and automation. By 2026, if you don't understand how AI tools work, you'll be like someone applying for a driving job who doesn't know what a car is. Yes. But here is what is interesting. AI isn't eliminating cybersecurity jobs. It's creating entirely new categories. AI security engineer positions are about to explode. These are not traditional security roles with some AI sprinkled on top. These are hybrid positions where you need to understand both how to secure AI systems and how to use AI defensively. Now think about it. Every company is rushing to implement AI tools but very few understand how to secure them. Someone who knows how AI models can be attacked, how to protect training data, and how to implement AI governance frameworks, that person is going to be incredibly valuable. But AI is just one part of the transformation. Now, let me tell you about the other skills that will dominate 2026. I can't overemphasize this. Cloud security is not optional anymore. It's the baseline. Nearly a third of organizations still lack adequate cloud expertise, which means if you can secure AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud environment, you're solving a problem that keeps executives awake at night. But don't just learn basic cloud concepts. Focus on multi-cloud security and zero trust architectures, okay? Companies are not using single cloud providers anymore, and the old secure the perimeter approach is dead. Zero trust means treating everything as potentially compromised. And 27% of companies report having a zero trust skills gap right now. Now, let me share something that might surprise you about programming languages for cybersecurity. Python remains king, but the landscape is shifting. You still need Python for automation and analysis. Okay, that hasn't changed. But Go and Rust are gaining serious traction in security tools because of their performance and memory safety features. If you're starting fresh, learn Python first, then add Go or Rust as your second language. But programming is only part of the equation. The soft skills gap in cybersecurity is actually bigger than the technical gap. Companies need people who can explain risk to executives, work in teams, and adapt quickly to new threats. In fact, 34% of security leaders say working well in a team is their top cultural value when hiring. This is your opportunity. While everyone else is focused purely on technical skills, you can differentiate yourself by developing very strong communication and critical thinking abilities 
alongside your technical knowledge. Now, speaking of opportunities, let me tell you about the industries that will be desperate for cybersecurity talent in 2026. Healthcare is massively understaffed right now. Hospitals and medical device companies are scrambling to protect patient data and secure connected devices. If you have any healthcare background or interest, combining that domain knowledge with security skills makes you incredibly valuable. Like energy and utilities are another gold mine. Critical infrastructure protection is a national priority and over 80% of employers in this sector expect cybersecurity roles to become even more important by 2030. These are not just high paying jobs, they are recession proof. The automotive industry is transforming vehicles into software platforms, thereby creating entirely new security challenges. IoT security specialists who understand both traditional IT and operational technology are in massive demand. But let's get practical. How do you actually prepare for these opportunities? Your timeline depends on where you're starting from. If you have zero tech background, plan for 12 to 18 months okay, of focused preparation. If you're already in IT, you might be ready to transition in six to nine months. Start with Security Plus from CompTIA. I know everyone recommends this, but there's a reason. It appears in nearly every entry-level job posting that you see, and it requires no experience. It costs around $370 now and gives you credible foundational knowledge that employers actually recognize. But certification alone won't get you hired, okay? You need practical experience, and that means building a home lab. Don't overthink the lab setup. One decent computer running virtualization software is enough to start. Install multiple operating systems, set up a virtual network, and then practice with real security tools. And then, you know, use free resources like DVWA for vulnerability or vulnerable web applications and ELK stack for log analysis. Document everything you do. Write up your lab configurations, your findings from your vulnerability scans, your incident response exercises. This documentation becomes your portfolio. But you know what that means? Prove that you can actually do the work, not just memorize theory for exams. Let me address the biggest misconception about breaking into cybersecurity. It's not all hacking. It's not. Most security work involves monitoring, compliance, risk assessment, and incident response. Only a small fraction involves offensive security or penetration testing. If you're entering cybersecurity because you want to be a hacker, make sure you understand what the day-to-day -day reality actually looks like, okay? Also, this isn't a field where you learn everything once and you're done. No, cybersecurity changes constantly. The threat evolving, the tools are improving, and the regulations are shifting. So continuous learning isn't optional. It's part of the job description. But that is also what makes it exciting. You will never be bored. And there's always opportunity to grow and specialize. Now, let me talk about geographic opportunities because this might affect your preparation strategy. You know, I get a lot of messages from people asking how they can break into cybersecurity. It's tough, especially if you're like how I used to be, stuck in a job that doesn't pay enough or feeling like you've hit a wall. I get it. That is why I created something more than just these videos you're watching. Something structured, practical, and focused on real action. It's called the five-day cybersecurity job challenge. This isn't just content you'll binge and forget. We're talking hands-on learning, real skills, and daily guidance. Two hours a day for five days. It's all designed to push you from thinking about change to actually making it happen. Look, I love making these YouTube videos, but let's be honest, how many times have you watched a great video, thought, I'm going to do something about that, and then didn't? That is why this challenge is different. It's designed to be your support, okay? We're not just learning, you're giving tasks, actionable steps every single day with live Q and A's where I personally help you avoid mistakes and learn the jobs that will change your life. Watching my videos is great, but if you want to go beyond watching, if you're ready to take real steps toward a $250,000 career a year, come join the challenge. The link is in the description below. You can't miss it. Now, enjoy the rest of this video, but don't forget to come back when you're ready to take that next step. Traditional tech ops like San Francisco and New York still have lots of cybersecurity jobs, but they also have the most competition and highest cost of living. 
some of the fastest growing cybersecurity markets are actually in unexpected places. Indianapolis, like I said, saw 31% growth in cybersecurity jobs last year. Cleveland had 60% growth. Raleigh in North Carolina, 59%. These cities offer lower competition, lower cost of living, and growing opportunities. Plus, with remote work becoming standard in cybersecurity, your geographic location matters less than it used to. About 24% of new IT jobs in the US are posted as hybrid, okay? And 12% are fully remote. Even entry-level positions are offering flexibility, which means you can access opportunities nationwide, regardless of where you live. Doesn't matter, okay? Let's talk about the competition and how do you stand out. Some popular cybersecurity job postings receive over a thousand applications in a single day. Your resume needs to demonstrate practical skills not just list certifications and education. This is where your home lab project your, and your documentation pay off. You know, contribute to open source security projects, participate in capture the flag competitions, write blog posts about your learning process. Okay, These activities show employers that you are actually genuinely interested in cybersecurity, not just looking for a high paying job. Okay, Build a portfolio on GitHub showcasing your project. Then include vulnerability assessments that you've done, security scripts that you've written, or documentation from your lab exercises. When employers see concrete examples of your work, you move from just another candidate with Security Plus to someone who can actually contribute from day one. Let me share some alternative entry-level points that most people overlook. If you're having trouble landing a direct cybersecurity role, Consider adjusting positions that can lead to security. Help desk technicians, you know, who volunteer for security related tasks, they often get internet transfers. Network administrators can pivot to network security roles. Even quality assurance testers, our QA, they can move into application security. So don't overlook non traditional industries. Every sector going through Digital transformation needs cybersecurity experts. Manufacturing companies securing industrial control system, retail business implementing PCI compliance, educational institutions protecting student data. If you have domain knowledge in any industry, combine it with security skills to create a unique value proposition and you become a go to person in that industry. Okay? Government and defense contractors they offer excellent entry positions, especially if you can obtain security clearance. The hiring process is slower, but these organizations often have formal training programs and they are more willing to invest in beginners. Okay, now let me give you the action plan that actually works. Are you ready for it? It works. Phase one is for foundation building, month one to six. Start with CompTIA Security Plus, build your own lab, begin following cybersecurity news and joining online communities. Pick one area to focus on initially. No, don't try to learn everything at once. Okay. Now, phase two is for specialization. This is month seven to 12. Choose a specialization based on market demand and your interest. Cloud security, incident response, or application security are all growing rapidly. Get hands-on experience through labs and projects. Start networking with professionals in your chosen area, okay? And then we move to phase three. Phase three is for job hunting. This is month 13 plus. Apply for entry-level positions, internships, adjacent IT roles, leverage your network for referrals, and informational interviews. You know what that means? Be prepared for rejection. It's a part of the process, okay? Each interview is practice for the next one. Do you understand that? Remember, cybersecurity hiring managers often prioritize attitude and potential over perfect technical qualifications. Show them you're eager to learn. You work well with others, and you understand the business impact of security decisions. Let me address one more critical point about realistic expectations. Your first cybersecurity job probably won't be your dream role. Just know that now. You might start as a SOC analyst monitoring security a lot or as a compliance coordinator documenting policies. That's normal and expected. Use these positions as stepping stones okay, to build experience and figure out what areas of cybersecurity truly interest you. Entry-level cybersecurity salaries typically start in the low $70,000 range in the US, rising to $100,000 with a few years of experience. Don't expect six figures right out of the gate unless you are in a high cost of living area or you have exceptional circumstances. 
But the career growth potential is excellent. Cybersecurity professionals who continuously update their skills and take on interesting responsibilities can reach senior positions relatively quickly compared to other fields. I promise you that. Now, as we wrap up, let me give you the most important piece of advice for succeeding in cybersecurity. Stay curious and keep learning. The threats are constantly evolving. The technology stack is always changing and new regulations appear regularly. The professionals who thrive are those who embrace continuous learning as part of their career, not as a burden. Join professional organizations like ISC2 or ISSA, attend local meetups and conferences, even the virtual ones. Okay? Follow security researchers on Twitter and LinkedIn, read security blogs and participate in online forums. This isn't just about staying current anymore, it's about building the network that will support your career growth. The cybersecurity industry needs more qualified professionals and there's genuine opportunity for people willing to prepare properly and commit to continuous improvement. Take a screenshot of the action plan I outlined, okay? Pick your starting point based on your current background. Then set a realistic timeline expectations and begin phase one this week, like this week, not next month, okay? Now, if this roadmap helped clarify your path into cybersecurity, Please share with others who might be considering this career change. The more people who understand what preparation actually looks like, the stronger our industry becomes. Hit that subscribe button for more honest career guidance that cuts through the hype and gives you actionable strategies. Okay, Drop a comment, let me know what phase of cybersecurity preparation you are in right now. Trust me, I read every comment. I do. Remember. The cybersecurity career you build in 2026 starts with the preparation you do today. The opportunity is real, the demand is strong, and with the right approach, you can possibly position yourself for a long-term success in one of the most important and rewarding fields in technology. In my usual manner, I hope I'm leaving you better than I met you today. Now, go build that cybersecurity foundation the right way. I will see you in the next one. Bye for now. Watching videos like this is a great way to learn, but here's the thing, no matter how many videos you watch, it's the action you take afterward that really matters, right? That's why I created the 5 day cyber security job challenge. It's like these videos, but with structured and accountability. For 5 days, you get daily tasks, personalized guidance from me, and hands on skills that actually get you hired. So if you're ready to make cybersecurity more than just something you watch on YouTube, check out the challenge in the description below.